is part three of passing data and part three is going to concentrate on uh, passing data through the delegate method and I created a starter project so we can skip through creating the storyboard stuff and, and setting up uh, all that business so let's just go through the initial project and we can see uh, what we have and what we will be doing so the project is this. The first view will just load up and it'll have a text view and a button that says create note. When we select create note, we go to the second view and we have a text view and a button that says create note. And we also have a cancel button. Cancel just dismisses the view. Um, and what the goal of this will be is to type in uh, whatever we want. We'll say create our first note and when we type that and we hit create note it will take whatever text is in this text view and pass it back and display it in this first uh, this first view controllers text view and we will do that using the delegate pattern and the initial starter project we have the two view controllers the first one is this note view VC and the note view VC just has an outlet for the text view. And the second, which is the note creator view controller, um, also has an outlet for that text view. And then it has the two buttons, uh, one for the cancel, which just dismisses the view. And another one, uh, which says create note pressed and that dismisses the view. But this is where we will implement the passing back of our data. So let's look at the storyboard and see how that is set up. Uh, this is presented modally. And it's presented modally when we press press this button. Okay. So first things first, what is a delegate? So all a delegate is is an object that acts on behalf of another object in our app. Um, so we, we delegate work to our delegate and we, we tell it to handle uh, whatever work we want to do and um, what we can do is we can implement uh, a protocol for our delegate to follow so uh, what is a protocol a protocol is just a set of defined rules that are to be implemented by whatever object that conforms to that protocol so these rules could be something like uh, methods or variables so if an object uh, conforms to the protocol, then they have to implement uh, whatever methods and variables are specified in that protocol. So what we'll do is we'll create a protocol for our delegate to file. So on our first view controller, the note viewer view controller, we we'll create a protocol. And we will just name this note creator delegate. And it's going to have one method. And uh, this method will be called pass note. And it will take a string. Okay. And we're going to make our note viewer view controller conform to this protocol. Because the note creator uh, or the note viewer view controller is going to be our, our delegate. And it's going to yell at us because we haven't implemented this yet. So we don't actually conform to the protocol yet. This is not conform to protocol note creator delegate. So in order to make that go away, we just have to implement the pass note method. And what we will do in here is when we receive our note from the note creator view controller, we're gonna so we're gonna pass back whatever text is in that text view. And when we receive it through here, we're gonna set the text view on this screen um, with that data. So let's just implement that now. Text view dot text is equal to note. 
So let's go to our note creator view controller. And when we're in here, what we have to do is create a uh, delegate variable. And we're going to create this variable because we will use it to assign our delegate as well as call our delegates uh, protocol pass note method. So let's just call this variable delegate and it will be note creator delegate and it will be an optional. And where this will be uh, implemented at is when we actually uh, press the create note, uh, the create note button. So we will say if let, because this is an optional, so we're going to have to unwrap it and we're going to access the pass note method from this delegate. If let note creator delegate equal to delegate delegate dot pass note and the string that we want to pass is our text views uh, text, right? So let's just access that. Oh, whoops. Let's do note creator uh, delegate because we safely unwrapped it. So now we're just going to use this instead of the delegate variable. Okay, so when we press create note, it's going to take the text from here, and it's going to pass it to our delegate. So we need to assign our delegate. Let's come over to note viewer view controller because note viewer view controller is going to be the delegate. And this is where the prepare for segue method uh, comes in handy. So when we segue to this note creator view controller, we're going to access the delegate property on the note creator view controller, and we're going to assign that. Um, we're going to assign it to self, which will be note viewer view controller. So let's do let destination VC equal to segue dot destination as note creator VC. Access the delegate property it's equal to self. So now when we segue, uh, we're going to make the note viewer uh, view controller the delegate of destination of our uh, note creator VC. And everything should be okay now, so let's give it a run. All right, we see it's blank. Hit create and say, please create our first note. Perfect. 